Louis. Amen. Atubo. I'm from Nigeria originally and I've uh, lived here for quite some time, over 40 years. And um, I thank God for everything. What I want to really talk about tonight is um, our identity, really. Our identity in Christ. You know, it's very important. We can serve God and sing and do all that stuff, but we must always remember who we are. The core and the essence of who we are. Our identity. Um, when, when, when God created man, he created, he created man in his own image and his own likeness. Okay, we know what the image is. But what was the likeness of God? Can anyone tell me here what the likeness of God? Likeness. When God created us, He created us in His own image and His own likeness. Can Can someone tell me what the likeness is? You know the image, but what's the likeness? Likeness. Okay. Uh, is anyone here who can help me out here? About his likeness, he created us in his own image and his own likeness. Yeah, but what's the likeness of God? We know the image, but we don't know the likeness, right? So what's the likeness? Love. You're close. You're very close. His likeness is his character. That nature of God. You know. So we have. So, he is love. So he created us with love. You know what I'm saying? The Bible. I'm, I'm, I'm sticking to the Bible. What wow. the Bible says. You know, I'm not, I'm not adding or subtracting from the Bible. I'm just focusing on the Bible. Mm -hmm. You know, he created us in the image and his own likeness. So this likeness is character. So we have this nature of God in us. But you know, we know what Adam did. I don't want to go into all that. You know, so man fell short. Okay. But in chapter two. He formed the man, not created. In chapter one, he created a man. But in chapter two, he formed the man and blew that spirit he created in chapter one to the man that he formed in chapter two. And that man came alive. That man was a mold, right? Was a mold. And he blew that spirit he created in chapter one into the, into the mold that he made in chapter two. And that man came alive. He became a spirit, he became a, he became a human being. But, his character, yeah, his, his, his behavior, his, his, his. but we're supposed to have this character of God. That's what we're supposed to be, you know. So Adam fell short. So since then, man has reduced himself to an earthly man, not heavenly. That spirit that Adam created and that God created in chapter one, disconnected from Adam. He lost that spirit. So Adam became spiritually retarded or spiritually dead, so to speak. Yeah? And um, we lived like that for so quite some time while God was busy trying to reconcile the world to himself. Because God can only relate to us in the spirit, not in our canal, not in our, you know, in our physical. No. We can only come to God in the spirit. Period. You see? But Adam fell short and that spirit is connected from him. So the glory of God left him. So he was reduced to his carnal mind, which is his senses, to, to, to live or not. That was reduced. But through the time, Adam, I know God was trying to reconcile the world to himself. All of our prophets in the, in, the, in the Old Testament prophesied this coming of Yeshua. Yeah? Up to from, from Genesis to Malachi, we all talked about Yeshua. Yeshua was like a shadow of what was to come, you know. And then when right when Yeshua came, he reconnected us back to the spirit that Adam lost in the Garden of Eden. That's what happened. So we are now, when we say we are born again, we are born again in the spirit, because when we die, when he died, if we die with him in baptism. When he rose, we rose with him. So we rose with him in this newness of life, this spirit man. So if really we believe that 
Jesus Christ died for us and we died with him and we rose with him into this newness of life, the spirit man, then we are spirit and you will be led by the spirit. We should be led by the spirit. There's no doubt about it. There is no more superficial life for us. It's about spirit, supernatural life. Amen. Supernatural. That's the mindset we ought to have. Sometimes we compromise God by our small thinking. We do that because we're not aware of who we really are. We are not carnal, we are not superficial, we are spiritual. If you believe that you are born again, then you are a spirit man. Amen. You are led by the spirit. You are mindful of the Holy Spirit. You are aware of the Holy Spirit, whereby it becomes the dominant part of your life. You can't think otherwise. It becomes a way of life for you. So if we believe that we are born again in the spirit, we should be led by the spirit, period. And that's the that's it. That's our identity, who we are as Christians, the spirit man. Not only because you, we are a spirit, we possess a soul and we live in a body. The spirit man controls the mind. The mind is soul. We don't know. We, we, we say soul, soul. We don't really know what is. We don't, we, sometimes we, we confuse the spirit and the soul. No. The soul is the mind, which is your mental, emotional realm. Your psyche. That's what it is. Your soul. Your body is physical. Your physical body. But your spirit man is the real you, the core of who you are. The spirit man is heavenly. The soulish man is earthly. The physical man is earthly. Correct? Yes. Because the spirit man is 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 vacuum packed by the Holy Spirit of promise. The spirit man is holy. The spirit man is righteous. The spirit man is has the mind and the faith of Christ. The spirit man is identical to Christ. The spirit man is a, is perfected for eternity. Cannot sin, incorruptible. The spirit man, and that's who you are. In your spirit, you are perfected for eternity and is redeemed. But your mind is not redeemed, but purchased. Your physical body is redeemed, is you know, is is you know, is, is purchased but not redeemed. Why? Because Christ came for that, so that our, if our spirit man is perfect of eternity and redeemed, but our soul is not redeemed but purchased. That's why we know in part. We don't know everything. That's why we know in part. But there will come a time where we we'll know all things when it returns. The physical body is also purchased but not redeemed. That's why we, are, we, we have sickness, disease, pain, and we all die from, you know. But when it comes, we have a glorified body, correct? Hallelujah. So the real you is your spirit. Don't, don't, they, don't they say that the, the flesh is just borrowed, borrowed? The, 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 the flesh is like, it's like a shell. That's why... It's borrowed, borrowed. Well, I, I see that as well. I, 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 I speak from the scripture. I don't know where... Yeah, I'll keep on the scripture. So the real you is the spirit man. That's who you are. We can't we can't compromise who we are. We cannot because this this thing we see so is passing away. All the things that we see now is passing away. We know that. But the word of God remains forever. So it's, it's, it's just the mindset that we have to have as a Christian to know that we are not carnal. We are spiritual. It's very important. So if we believe that we are spirit man, let us be led by the spirit in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Hallelujah.